In 1989, Michael Frankie was stabbed to death. Then, the director of the Oregon Department of Corrections, Frank Gable, was convicted of the crime, sentenced to life without parole. Gable claimed he was set up, and to this day, Frankie's brothers agree. This case has been very controversial from the very beginning. Gable has filed multiple appeals over the decades. Thursday came the long-awaited decision from U.S. Magistrate Judge John Acosta. He ruled the trial court made a mistake by excluding evidence that another person had actually confessed to the crime. Acosta said trial counsel provided ineffective assistance. He also said Gable presented enough evidence of a, quote, constitutional violation that probably resulted in the conviction of someone who was actually innocent. He stopped short of saying Gable was innocent, though. I think it's been a, a cover up from the beginning. Phil Stanford, an author and former journalist who's been covering this from the start, has always said Gable was framed. And state police and the Marion County DA's office were in on it. The uh, speculation from the beginning, of course, is that uh, corrections officials had him killed. Uh, at the time, Frankie was investigating corruption he'd discovered in his own department, and he was getting ready to clean house. Uh, then he was killed. Jim Redden, a Portland Tribune reporter, has also dedicated you know, decades to this. Hopefully, they'll look at this and do the right thing and let him out and not retry him. They don't believe the state has a case to retry Gable. Stanford says testimony was made up and there's no physical evidence against him. But it, it was all a lie. They were all lies. Stanford says someone should pay the price for murdering Frankie. I don't have much faith in the Oregon authorities to pursue the case any, any further. Frankie's brother sent us a statement today saying they're extremely happy Gable could soon be free. They say, quote, the state can no longer afford to manufacture a case built on lies and half-truths. And we trust that they will abandon this fruitless endeavor and concede that they convicted an innocent man. Frankie's brothers and the journalists we spoke with feel justice has been delayed far too long. I've always personally thought there, there's an innocent man in jail. And I've been surprised and disappointed by how long it's taken to get to this point. Morgan Romero, KGW News.